Hi, it's Carl Bishop, and today I'm going to talk about how to safely and quickly remove phlegm from your vocal cords. And for us voice actors, we know that this can be a big problem during allergy season. The pollen's going crazy right now where I am. Maybe it is with you. Um, basically, any time of year, phlegm can be a big... Uh, you can just hear it there. Phlegm could be a big issue. So, before I get into it, please subscribe. Please like... Uh, my channel and uh, I hope you follow me. I hope you find this useful. Okay, let's get into it So let me give you a little context about this exercise that I'm going to demonstrate You have two parts of your voice essentially the modal part of your voice Which is also referred to as the chest voice, which is the voice I'm speaking in now Then you have falsetto and it sounds like this chest voice head voice Anyone can do this. You don't have to be a singer us voice actors, if you've never sung a note in your life, uh, then you can still do this. It's just vowels, all right? Let's start by saying the vowel E in our high or falsetto voice. E. Okay, now say that same E in your chest voice. E. Now what you want to do to shake the phlegm off is to start up on the falsetto, the high E, and just glide down to uh, a lower part of your range. And you'll feel, check this out, you'll feel that moment, and you'll hear the phlegm. Did you hear that? That kind of graveliness, that is your vocal cords connecting right at the point where there's a little phlegm or junk. And so by not doing it very forcefully and by gliding back and forth, from that higher E to a lower E, uh, you're going to just kind of shake off that, that phlegm and your voice is going to be a lot clearer um, and it's going to be a lot more easy to do your job. So I hope you found this helpful. If so, please share it with colleagues, spread it around, spread the word, leave comments if you'd like, and I will speak to you again soon.